Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badgerworks. Today, this. Uh, this is the um, Airfix 172nd scale Fokker Wolf FW190. Uh, this is the starter set uh, with the paints and the brush and everything in it. Uh, I bought this uh, quite recently from, um, it was either Lidl or Aldi, I can't remember which, but they quite often sell these starter kits cheap. They're normally about £10 and this one was a fiver, so I bought a few of them. Um, so uh, I thought it'd be interesting to have a build of it and see what it uh, comes out like. But, although this is a starter set, there's more. Because I've also bought this. Uh, now this is the Edouard um, photo etch set for this kit. Uh, it's got the bits for the interior. It's also got uh, flaps and whatnot. So there's that. But I've also bought this. This is a second photo etch set um, by Bren Gun. I'm assuming it's pronounced Bren Gun because it looks like that looks like the magazine and top receiver of a Bren Gun. Um, and the reason I've got both sets was first I wanted to compare them and see you know how they worked out but also they've actually got different parts in them. So this one obviously has flaps and bits and pieces in it. This one has the wheel covers and they've also got some common parts. Um, so it's, I thought it'd be interesting to compare the two and see like how they come out. And I'll use some bits from one kit and bits from the other and go from there. So uh, right, let's open everything up and see what we've got. Right, so to start with we've got a little bag with the, the four paints and the glue in it. Um, might use some of those paints, might not. Just put those to one side for a minute. Uh, there's the brush. Um, these brushes are actually, blimey, that's on there well. Um, these brushes are actually not bad. Um, I've got a few of these Airfix brushes and they're actually quite handy, they're quite good quality. So we'll probably use that as well. Um, uh, decals. Now interestingly there are decals for the cockpit gauges which we won't be using because we'll use one of the other sets. Um, and then there's the uh, various other bits and pieces. They don't look too bad. Uh, we'll see what they come out like when we get to that point. And the model itself. Uh, let's take this out of the bag. Let's see what it looks like. I really must put a new blade on that knife. It's so blunt it won't cut the bag. Ugh. Right. The funny thing is, part of me likes the idea that they put the uh, they put the plastic um, the the clear parts in a separate bag to protect them. But the other part of me is just like really, it's like another plastic bag that we've got to try and get rid of. Um, but anyway, so there's the glass bits. Uh, doesn't look too bad. There's a fair bit of flashing on it. Uh, you see, if you look around here, there's quite a lot of flashing. It's one of these things, this looks like another one where the moulds are starting to wear out. Um, yeah. There's some, I've noticed this on a lot of Airfix kits lately, there's, there's some really nasty mould lines there, for example. Um, and it does mean you've got a lot of cleaning up to do, which is kind of annoying. Um, and things like the wheels, they almost look soft, if you know what I mean. Um, like the detail in the moulds is, is just worn out. But the rest of it doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. They give you um, two sets of landing cover, landing carriage covers, one with the wheels and everything to have it down, and then another one here, and they're actually moulded, they've moulded half the wheel onto here so that when they're closed, um, it makes it a bit easier to assemble, I suppose. Uh, same again, you've got two uh, tail wheels, one retracted and one extended. Um, 
yeah, not too bad. There is quite a lot of detail on it. I quite like that. Okay, let's put these bits to one side for a minute. Ugh, there's the instructions. Yeah, you see it's a gift set. Um, I think it's a fairly standard sort of cheapo airfix set of instructions. Yeah, they're quite well laid out. Um, they're not in colour, they're just black and white. But they look fairly clear. Okay, so that's that. Let's have a look at these photo etch parts. Shouldn't do that with the tweezers really, I'm going to end up damaging them. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, that looks fairly straightforward. See, now this one uh, has this little plastic part with the, um, the dials and everything on it, the gauges. Um, so you so you cut those out, stick them onto the appropriate place here, and then you see there's like a bezel. I don't know whether you can see that. There's like a bezel part there that you cut out that goes over the front of it, and then the gauges will show through. Um, okay, let's just put that to one side for a second. Don't lose those. And then on this side, this is a lot easier to open. I'll say that for Edward, they're a lot easier to open because it's just a, a self-adhesive bag. So we've got two sets of photo etch, two, two plates, two frames, whatever you want to call them. Um, now it's a self-adhesive, which is interesting. Oh, get out. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, like I say, it says here self adhesive and this, yeah, this is actually, you see parts of this, I don't know whether you can see that, but some of these parts uh, have actually got adhesive on them, so you can stick them on, <laughs> which seems a bit odd, but, yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so that's interesting. We'll just stick that back on there. Um, but yeah, it seems fairly well made, as you'd expect from Edouard. This is a later one than a lot of the ones I've used, 2014. Um, but again, if we compare the two... Oh, where's the other one gone? There it is. You can see that there are some parts duplicated. Um, like for example, we've got the the cover that goes under the cockpit canopy is there uh, in both sets. Just trying to see what other parts. Um, oh, and again for the cockpit, you've got the gauges and the instrument clusters and everything. And on here, you see the instrument clusters are just bare. These ones are actually painted, are pre-painted. Um, so, you know, there's a, there's a choice there which ones we use. Um, but yeah, so, okay. Well, let's uh, make a start on the model and see how we get on.
tuned in to MC on the NBC News Newsroom in New York. President Roosevelt said in a statement today that the Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, from the air. I'll repeat that. President Roosevelt says that the Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor in Hawaii from the air. We will interrupt all programs to give you latest news bulletin. Stay tuned to this station.
drop, drop the wall.
And here is the finished article. Um, this was a challenge, uh, this plane I have to say. Uh, using both sets of photo etch really added a, a lot of complication to the build. Uh, but I think it was an interesting experiment, um, especially using PE at this kind of scale, 170 second scale is quite tricky. But uh, I'm glad I did it, uh, I've certainly learnt a lot from it. Uh, I certainly made some glaring mistakes with this build. Um, so feel free to pick them apart in the comments. Um, but I think, in summary, if I was going to pick either of the two PE sets for this build, I would probably pick the Bren Gun set. Um, the main advantage to the Edward set is it has the flaps. But I really do like some of the features of the Bren Gun set. So, for example, uh, the, the side armour and the undercarriage flaps. I think they really add to the overall look of the model. Um, but yeah, it was a fun little build, um, and I might well do some more of these in the future. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.